All right, so today I'm a, uh, I got a camera person holding the camera for me, so I appreciate that. And I'm going to get a chance to take you on a quick um, day in the life, quick little workout session with myself. And uh, we're going to head over to the gym that I used to train my clients at and get a chance to really see what I can do and, and look at myself in the mirrors with, uh, with nobody being in there. So... It's a pretty empty gym, so I don't expect to hear any music and people yelling and nothing like that. All right. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better now. I went to the homeopathic doctor, and they told me that um, my kidneys wasn't functioning that great. And so now, they gave me some ancient Chinese herbs, and I've been taking them, and my kidneys kind of been functioning a little better. Ankle swelling went down. My hands aren't shaking as much. It's just, I'm just feeling revitalized. I'm feeling like a new KD right now, you know? So, I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, you know what? I actually look pretty good. And, uh, I drive a Mustang normally, but today we're gonna take my Lexus. I was gonna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to charge up the Mustang and hook the battery up and all this other stuff. But I got an old school Mustang too. That's my, that's my baby. But it's not time to pull it out today. People like to drive crazy on weekdays, so I'll save that for Sundays, you know. All right, let's head up out of here. It shouldn't take us too long to get to the gym, so. I like to keep a couple different gym memberships, a couple different uh, key fobs or whatever just in case depending on what I like to do I go to different gyms for certain exercises so like for example um, I like my main gym because they normally have equipment for legs that I can't really get to everywhere else and they'll have different equipment for your back too but like I'll go to I'll go to a small spot or a 24-hour gym or something like that if I don't feel like being bothered with nobody or if I don't feel like people walking up on me and asking me questions or, you know, or having to wait on equipment or something like that. Or they don't know proper gym etiquette, like re-racking the weights or, you know, not pressuring you to hurry up and get off the machine. Tell me how many more sets you got left. Anyway, like I said, I'm feeling good today. I'll be at the Arnold Classic this weekend. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the classic physique competitors. It'll definitely put into perspective how far away I am from actually doing a show. Of course, they got different rules and stuff. And I like I like competing. I'm not going to lie. I like getting on stage. Of course, it doesn't define me. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be considered like, oh, he's a bodybuilder. Or, oh, he's a trainer. Or, oh, he's whatever, whatever. I don't want to be defined like that. But I still feel like I'm a fan of it as well. Like, I like to see how far people's bodies can go. And it's like, an, it's like an exhibit for me, you know? It's like an art museum to go in there and see what these people were able to, to do. And in my mind, I don't feel like they're so far away from me. A lot of times I'll see dudes who, you know, I know they may take steroids, but I feel like my body is great without it. And I probably just don't, I don't need steroids in order to achieve what they did. Not taken away from them, but maybe they needed something. You know, maybe I don't need anything. So. When I go there, I like to see somebody who looks more like a an advanced version of what I could do. And maybe if I never get to that, maybe if I you know shoot for the moon and land on the mountain, and I never get to that goal, I'll still be a great version of me. You know what I'm saying? I'll still be a, a nice, well-developed, rounded version of KB. You know. For breakfast today, I had the same thing I have every day, day in and day out. Same thing I had: egg whites and a raisin bagel, orange juice, and um, some fruit. Today I had pineapples. Normally I have grapefruit, or normally I have like, um, I don't know, maybe an apple or something like that, or a pear or something, but today I had pineapples. I'm just in a pineapple mood right now, so I don't know. Now I will tell you one thing, since I did clean out my system and did this whole um, kidney detox thing from the homeopathic doctor, I haven't been drinking as much alcohol like I normally do because I normally get it in, you know. 
I drank a lot of gin, just for y'all who don't know. Don't think I'm out here living this healthy lifestyle and not having no fun with it, you know what I'm saying? So I do like to dabble a little bit. I do like my, uh, my Seagrams on occasion, you know? But it was getting to the point where I would drink it and I don't even feel anything. Like I wasn't getting buzzed or nothing. And so once I cleaned out my kidney and stayed off of liquor for, I think it was like maybe two weeks that I haven't had any liquor. I had some last Friday. I went out and I had, a, I had two shots a gin Friday and boy was I smacked I was wasted man so I bet you that my kidneys really cleaned up and, and now they're allowing my body body to receive the different nutrients from you know alcohol and sugar and you know, proteins and carbs and fats all differently like now I'm getting it different so it's not it's not the same way it once was and I think with that being the case as well I'm also being able to receive more proteins from my foods that I'm eating. Cause I've been noticing like, I've been holding on to a pump a little better lately. And I've been like, I've been feeling a little rounder, not necessarily like looking better, but I just been feeling more, you know, like bubblier in my physique. Not so like, like I don't get, I haven't been getting flat lately and everything's been looking real sharp. So I'm gonna show y'all in a second when we get into the gym. But um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like the new me, you know, this is like, 2.0 you know <laughs> so i'm curious this is fun for me and then another thing so when i was in the homeopathic doctor i asked him i said i said so listen man i compete you know i said and i'm, I'm a natural bodybuilder i said i've never jumped on anything crazy because you know they want to know what you take and stuff like that i said i've never taken anything like illegal or any anabolic substances that were like testosterone or whatever those things and names are something malone below malones and Tone balloons and trump balloons or whatever them things are anyway i've never taken anything like that so i told him and i was like but i do want to have an edge when i compete is there any type of herb or any type of you know something that you would recommend me take so that i can have that type of competitive edge when i'm getting ready for my competitions and he said he said yes there is but he's not ready to give me that right now because he doesn't feel like it would benefit me it would probably hurt me more than than help me since um since my kidneys needed to be improved first so you know right now i'm actually feeling good without anything like i don't feel like i would need anything i'm not taking no protein powders right now no supplements no vitamin c's i'm not taking anything right now and i haven't been taking anything since last may so it's almost you know pretty soon i'll be looking at like a year that i haven't taken any type of vitamins or not even a not even a multivitamin i haven't taken anything lately but um no creatine no nothing but I feel like when I go back to him and I see him tomorrow, when I go back and see the homeopathic doctor, I'm going to actually get him to kind of give me like a better formula of, of supplements that I should be taking in order to make my whole body function properly like it needs to. And so I recommend for you guys, you know, go to your doctor and then also see if you can find a homeopathic doctor in your area it's going to sound crazy when they give you certain things or when they tell you certain stuff but if you can actually find one it would be in your it, it would help you a great deal because you really want to know how your body is functioning 100 percent and chinese medicine is weird but it's effective you know all right let's go work out if nobody's in the gym right now i'm taking my clothes off and i'm working out half naked don't judge me We good. good. So today's plan, we're gonna do do 100 pull-ups, um, 100 shoulder presses. I'm gonna do 100 rope press downs, 100 bicep curls, 100 leg extensions, and 100 leg curls. And then we out here. And that's it. In and out. And then um, tomorrow I'll get back to the regularly scheduled program, you know. But right now it's just clean up and hit all the little fine details. And I'm telling you, you know, if you've never done it before, you never did 100 reps or anything, you don't know what you're missing because you may think that you look good now, but, but conquer your own body first. Get into doing body weight stuff or get into doing like high rep stuff in addition to your heavy weight and be able to cross it up, you know, pick, just pick a day. And I'm telling you, it's going to get down into different muscle fibers that you never even knew, you know, existed. And when you can kind of do that, 
you're gonna see your body's gonna transform into a whole new monster, you know? I've been working on my vacuum. You know? So everything's looking all right. I figured next time I do my show, what I'm gonna do is, when they start talking about posing and posing down, I'm gonna hit everybody with, with classic poses. So I'm gonna hit them with the, with the crucifix, you know, hit them with the little um, old school Frank Zane pose. I'm gonna hit them with the their front double bicep with the curve in it, right? I hit them with the the Muhammad McAway back pose, the core back pose, and I probably hit them with the Arnold, you know. So anyway, all right, we've been posing. Let's get started on these pull-ups. What's crazy, in my opinion, is that like, there's guys out there who I know work out hard. Like, let's not, let's not discredit the hard work. But the thing is, I feel like I work just as hard. But I'm not tripping on that because I got my own, I got my own lane of people who like seeing what I have to offer. So I don't get discouraged and say, oh man, I wish I was just like Phil. He, he got his lane already. Kai Green, he got his lane already. All the dudes who I watch, they got their lane. And I built my frame off of listening to their um, education and their insight and their lessons that they teach. So my thing is, if I can apply everything that they showed me from magazines and reading and books and stuff like that, then this is what I can build with what I've learned from them. So we know that there's a missing link, which is fine, but I'm satisfied with shooting for the moon, for the moon and landing on the mountain because I'm at the mountain right now, so I'm not tripping, you know? Next thing you're gonna do, is move right on to the tricep press downs and the bicep curls, and that's right over here. So you can kind of see what I got going on. All right, now the bicep curls. This is the hard part for me because I never curl. I really just started curling this year like the end of 2017. The reason being is because I always do pull-ups and I warm up with 100 pull-ups on my back deck, mandatory, and I've been doing that for years and it's actually helped my biceps turn into something. But the problem is my biceps, my biceps are narrow from the front, but they look good from the side. So what I'm trying to do is build that thickness from the front so you can see that tricep pop off and that bicep hang on the inside. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna hold one just a little bit wider so I can give myself more room to grow. As far as going heavy, light, whatever, whatever, all that stuff is cool, but the goal is to find a weight that you're comfortable with, that you know is gonna stress you out, but at the same time, it's gonna let you still maintain the integrity on your form. So you don't wanna be looking too crazy, but at the same time, you gotta be, you gotta just be an idiot a little bit sometimes, you know? You gotta lift with your ego, just try and move some weight around, see what happens. If it's too much, then go down. If it's too light, then go up, you know? Find that sweet spot and then push it just a little bit more right after that sweet spot. <sighs> ah, look. <laughs> All right, that's it for biceps. 
Let's move on into shoulders. That's this machine right over here. And um, see them things poking up? You think trying to stand up a little bit more? Tell me. And I haven't even turned 30 yet. So wait till I turn 30. I'm just gonna keep on getting better with age. I never like to really do a heavy weight with shoulders because I've learned just from personal experience, just the same way I've been chasing how to make my legs grow, I was chasing how to make my shoulders grow. And of course, I've learned that you gotta hit your shoulders from every angle. But what I've also learned that is that my shoulders get burnt out and they get sore and they get torn down with higher reps. So when I'm doing my rear delts, high reps. When I'm doing my lateral raises, high reps. When I'm doing my, you know, the same basic stuff, front raises, shoulder presses, arm presses. When I'm doing those things, it's all high reps. Even though the weight may be relatively heavy, it's still in the 20 range, 25, 30, sometimes 50, stuff like that. Today, we're not gonna go that high, but I just wanna kinda get these, get these out of the way. Because I know it's gonna require a heavy, higher amount of weight. Like, when I work out, I try to have this, this mental intensity. You're not gonna hear me in the gym. Ah, you know, wait. Just because I'm not, I'm not a loud person, I'm not a talker, and I don't like that much attention, but I definitely, in my mind, am doing all of that same stuff that you hear the other guys doing, you know? So, I'm more of an introvert when I work out. I'm more do it for, for privacy and, and to get my mind taken off whatever the day has been thrown at me, but I still, I still become a monster in the gym, at least in my own head, you know, so. <laughs> Alright, last set. Right. Woo-wee! <laughs> and things are burning right now. Alright, so that's it for the upper body. I'm skipping chest today, because I just did chest yesterday, so. But that would have been the same thing, just leaning back in shoulder presses or going and doing cable flies or something like that. Let's move on to some leg extensions and then a couple leg curls, and we'll call it a wrap. And when you're on your own, you know, do other stuff like inner thighs, outer thighs, forearms, your abs, your lower back, work your neck, try and work all those different things that you may miss during the week there. But um, when you're in on a day like this, you know, just do whatever you want to. All right, so the next thing we're doing, just leg extensions. And um, legs have been a weak point on my body for a while. And not necessarily because I don't work them. I've never skipped a leg day. It's just because I think I was using the same principles from other body parts for my legs and I wasn't giving them the attention that they deserved. And so, like for myself, I might work my back and my back is sore, you know, for seven days some days. Likewise, on my, with my, um, my chest or my abs even, or, you know, my arms, my triceps some days, my biceps some days might be sore all those days. But areas like my shoulders and my legs never got sore. Hamstrings, yes. Quads, no. Calves, yes. Quads, no. My quads really just never got sore. And so now what I'm doing is trying to find exercises that really get them sore so that I know I'm attacking them. And then um, I've been noticing like I can work my, my quads because they'll get sore, but they won't stay sore for too long. They'll stay sore for maybe like maybe two days rather than six or seven days like the rest of my muscles. But I'll just come in there and do another quad exercise on the beginning day of like my chest or like a hamstring exercise on my on my back day. So I'll just do a leg day one day, then come do another quads right before the rest of the exercises, like my chest, and then come do hamstrings on another day right before my back. So that's been working for me. I feel like my legs have gotten a little bit bigger. They're not massive, you know, but it makes it 
some moves. left and then we'll um we'll either move on to calves or call it a night you know in the meantime you can see these legs trying to trying to peek out a little bit and i ain't ashamed of my legs you know you know some people are like oh, i don't have no legs i'm gonna wear shorts forever i'm gonna wear pants forever i ain't ashamed of my stuff you know what i'm saying i feel like i got a nice physique i feel like i can hit my poses for what we're trying to do you know Thing. I feel like when it's time to get on stage again and the judges are looking at me, they're gonna be able to see some type of improvement in my body. They're gonna say, you're not gonna say, oh, you didn't do nothing, you know. They'll be able to tell I made some type of change, so My favorite one for abs. My favorite ab exercise. I just like to do hanging leg raises. Fairly simple. It's always been good to me. I've never done any like short, crunchy ab workouts. On, I don't really like doing ab workouts on the floor because I feel like they make your abs have a short, boxy look. I'm gonna just. Squeeze out a few till I feel good and I'm call it a night. That's all we need. That's it. I'm glad I got a chance to um, bring you somebody that can hold a camera and get me some good angles. And um, hopefully I can get more of these. And uh, what else? Oh yeah. Thanks for everybody who's been subscribing. I know I don't normally ask for you guys to subscribe or say, hey, subscribe to my channel. I think that's kind of corny, but for everybody who has subscribed to my channel, thank you. And I definitely will continue to grow and we can all grow together so that you can look back and say, oh yeah, I was with him when he only had, you know, 50 subscribers or whatever the case is, you know? So I definitely appreciate everybody who's watching. I appreciate everybody who's been downloading the eBooks because I see their movement. And I see that they're helping a lot of people. So that's what I'm here for. Of course, I can't train everybody. So the ebooks are good so I can consolidate all my information and I don't have to keep on reiterating everything in each individual video. So I, you know, I encourage you all to get one. If you haven't got one, get one. I made one for women and one for men. So it covers all aspects of bodybuilding, weight loss, diet, nutrition, all that stuff for each person's body. Um, likewise, if you're interested in getting a customized meal plan, please feel free to send me a message. It's been your health and fitness specialist, Kelly Brown, and I'll see you guys in the next video.